It's time to get creative with Cassie. Welcome to my paper studio. Today we're going to do another craft and chat, probably. Um, and we're going to be working in our neutral slash gentleman's journal again. Uh, I really want to try and get it finished up. It seems like it's taking forever to do it. But on the inside cover, let me find the book. On the inside cover, we have these couple of pockets, and they're pretty tight pockets, so I don't want to make anything too overly thick for those pockets. So I thought we would just do a couple of altered Rolodex cards. And altered Rolodex cards are actually pretty difficult for me. Um, so I've dug out some scraps from the last video where we were ripping pages and stuff. And I have those pages here that we were ripping from. Um, I've got some pre-made little clustery things we could put on here. Some words, some just different ephemera pieces and stuff. And I'd really like to put this little boy on one maybe I don't know we'll see what happens so I pre-inked these off screen so that y'all didn't have to see me do that and then I thought we would just come in and put down some pieces as background so let's start playing I hope everybody is doing well today I hope you're able to get in some time for yourself. I know I say it in like every video I do, but I feel that that's really important to just to be able to do something for you. Okay. So I don't really have, <clears throat> excuse me. A whole lot of um, updates or anything for this video. We can also put some washi tape on these if we want to, which I might do. Let's just go in with some washi. Of course, if we're using washi, we need our handy dandy glue stick. And I may or may not stitch around these. I don't know. Let's do... This one. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I just know I need something pretty flat for those front pockets there. Okay, now I need a thinner. We'll use the scripty one. I really like this script washi tape. I'll be sad when it's gone. Fingers are getting sticky again. Gotta love the sticky fingers. Let's get a baby wipe. Sorry for the noise of the baby wipe package, but had to get that sticky off. Okay, so let's put a couple tabs on here. And I think I'll just use a whale tail tab. And yes, we have to ink it. 
front and back because you're going to be able to pull this out of the pocket. And I think I'll put one tab on one side and the other tab on the other side just to make it look a little more balanced when it's in the pocket. We could also do like um, some dangles off of these if we wanted to. I don't know if I will or not. It might be fun. I don't know. We'll see. What are you guys working on? What's your big project you got going on? Seems like I've been working on this journal forever. I just can't think of things to do to it. Alrighty. Now I have some pieces we could use for layering. We could use the other part of it on the other one. Let's stick this on this side maybe, like so. And then, let's see got this little like postage stamp we could layer on there hmm we could bring some blue in maybe I really like this piece of ephemera and I want to add this somewhere this on there and I don't know we could put that down and then put this on there 30 up this corner a little bit a little too white for me <coughs> okay I think I'm gonna do that on this one we're going to cheat a little bit and use a pre-made thing. Down part of that postcard. Dirty up the edges a little bit on this. And then glue her down. Her, him, it. I don't know. This blue here brings in that blue there. And then we could do a bit of stitching across the top and the side. I think that would be cute to finish that off. Alright, let's do this one. Um, let's see. Do we want to put this on there? Do we want to put this? I don't want too many layers of stuff because like I said the pocket to put these in are not it's not that thick of a pocket so there's not a lot of space to put stuff in we could do something like this and then stick this like out top oh that's upside down we don't want it upside down. Okay, 
I am not the greatest at all with Rolodex cards, but I thought I'd give it a shot here. If you have any helpful tips or ideas on how to do these, or you know of a really good video of altered Rolodex cards, I would love to see it all. So, there you go. Now you know. I think we all have the one area of weakness, though, like where we know we could improve. Wow. Rolodex cards and playing cards. Those are both really hard for me. And I don't know why. Because it's just like... It's like a page. But miniature. And I don't get why it's so hard. Just layer the stuff on and go. But I can't. Apparently, I don't know how. I look at other people's Rolodex cards and stuff, and I'm like, wow, look how pretty that is. And then I look at mine, and I'm like, ew. But anyway. I try. I have fun doing it. And that's all that matters, right? my mat all dirty. Okay. All dirty, dirty. Let's see here. Can we add this in? Break up that squareness a little bit. We need something round. like it down here it covers up that little bit of a white spot and it's not like number number you know I mean there is a number number but they're not like right on top of each other okay and then I think a little bit of stitching on here will be good with these so I'm going to clean up my mess a little bit stitch on these and I'll be right back Alright, so here's the two Rolodex cards after I took them to the sewing machine. And now let's fit them in their pocket. So there's those. And then we have this right here that needs some sort of like collaging or something on it so let's do that maybe stick this down here Use another piece here. I think I'm going to rip around this label. And then we'll use that label but I think I also yeah I like this on there it's just a matter of 
playing with your pieces and seeing what you like. And, you know, there's no right or wrong way to do a collage. There's just your way. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this off straight. That way I can line it up with the pocket. And it kind of will look like that. Okay. I apologize that I don't really have much of anything to talk about in this video. I know several of my viewers like to hear how, you know, the whole life things go in and all that stuff, but I just don't really have any updates during this video. Okay, I like that there. <clears throat> My voice keeps, like, frogging out on me or something. I don't even know what frogging out means, but okay. It's, it's the verbiage I chose, and um, it seems fitting, so. This guy right there and then I think we need some labels or something so let's get out our big old bin of labels and see what we've got that's kind of cool but I kind of want it to be a bit more like grungy and I wish I had like a a longer one. We could bring in like a piece of this and ink it up. This is just uh, washi tape that I had. And I just put the washi tape on to a piece of cardstock and then cut it out. So that's all this is. So we could put this right here. That would be cool. I like that. Okay, now let's find kind of got this going on, but I don't want field notesy stuff. Why is it always so difficult to make decisions and decide what you want? I mean, I wish the things were just like boop, boop, boop. Nope, that's about minerals. I do have, oh, come back here. I do have this, it's kind of nice. But we've got numbers here. Kind of. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't want to get too many because then it'll seem too busy. But... Oh, this is cool. I like this piece. Yeah, we could use this piece up here. No. Okay. Okay, had to put the drawer back. Now let's glue this guy down. And then I think I want like a picture of a little boy or something or a little girl or I'm not sure what but I want something for like right here let's see where's that picture of the little boy from this kit because I haven't used him yet so we've got this oh he just barely fits on there. I could kind of tear him out. What is this? Instead of fussy cut, fussy tear. And then let's ink up his edges. And I th think I want to put something under him. Like some cloth or something. Should I put him here? Or more? I think I like him here. Um, let's see here. What do I got that I can put under him? Hmm. This stuff's like almost too girly. Let me see here. I have some of this stuff that's like, um, it's tape for drywall. Let's see if I can find the end. The end's right there. See if we could like just cut an odd shape of it, maybe. Then we'll kind of, it's already somewhat sticky on the back, so we'll just put that down, and I'll give it a little inky ink, and then we'll put some extra glue on him so it goes through, so we'll glue him up real nice, nice and heavily, and then... We'll stick him down. There we go. And I just think this right here is a little too plain. I like that. Okay. So now, do we think we need eyelets? I think we do. So we've got three pockets, three tabs. So let's get three eyelets. Of course, we want them all to be the same. 
One, two, and three. Grab our crocodile. I'm gonna put this one right here. And then we'll put this one on the opposite side. And then this one we'll do kind of in the middle. Why not? Now, do we want to hang thread or ribbon off of these, or should we do like chain or what? Let's see what we got in here for ribbons. I know I've used this ribbon in the journal in another spot. So I'm going to stick this one through here, sticking out the top. Because the other one's kind of sticking out the top too. So that's our library card. And then we'll do... Let's do some of this. go through here and then you know what we're just gonna tie it like so um and on this one I'm going to like singe the edge here because that'll kind of melt that together and then keep it from unraveling but if you do this be very very careful and that side's already done okay so now we just need one for there and I think I'll just use this stuff why not go through there and this one I'll just tie as well in a knot like so I think that's a little long though so snip snip those might be a little long there too but whatever it is what it is My apologies about that. Husband's phone was ringing. So, I'm going to get a couple bold pens. Yeah, I might just use a safety pen on one. Okay. And just attach these. And you can just leave it on there as is, or you can attach a charm, or, you know, whatever may fancy your feast. So, we've got that done. I think that looks pretty good for the inside of the cover, anyway. And it's relatively flat. It's not real lumpy bumpy or anything, so it shouldn't 
impede on writing in the journal or anything. So um, I also went ahead and added some clusters. Oh, I missed that one. Oops. I dropped stuff. I hit you guys. So these we made in a Create in 15. It was a layering exercise of making scrappy clusters. And I am just using them to decorate the fronts of my pockets. So I, there's that one. And then there's this one that I put on here. And this is a relatively blank journal. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of room for writing in it. Um, but I'm running out of space. So there's that cluster we did in the last video. And then on this pocket, I did that cluster there. And right here I did this cluster as well. So, and then we've still got this pocket in the back that I have no idea what we're going to do with. So, I think I'm going to, oh, there's this one too. Alright, we'll just glue this one down. So see what I mean about it? It's nice to have, oh my goodness, have these things handy like this and already made because you can just pick them up and put them in your journal and that be that. But I've only got two left in my drawer, so I'm going to have to spend some time making some more. I've got a lot of my word clusters, but I made a lot of those too. You know, the fabric word labels that we did. So, that's the journal so far, but I mean, it's, it's getting chunky. So, I don't know if I should, because yeah, it's not even laying flat anymore. I think I might just put some journaling cards in this back pocket or some ephemera that you guys could do your own thing with or whatever and call this journal good. So why don't we go ahead and just do that? Put some pieces, bits and pieces in there. And I could put that on there as decoration and then Let's see here. I'm just digging through and grabbing some of the journaling cards and stuff from the kit. Kits that we're using. I'll put a little bit from each one in, I guess. Um, even though I've used a lot of the compendium stuff. But there's still some I can add. And this stuff, I'm not going to ink or anything. Um, I'm just going to put it in there the way it is and let whoever buys this decide what they want to do. So, here's a journaling card. And then this is a larger journaling card along with those. So we got a, a Great Dane and a motorcycle and then we've got a leather jacket, another motorcycle and a car. We've got a couple little tags here. We'll stick that tag in there. Here's another small tag. So I'm just filling up the pockets with different bits and pieces. 
That way, whoever gets the book can do some of their own decorating. I like to do that with some of my journals because, you know, people buy them to make them their own, right? It's not just about the creator doing their own thing and making it whatever, you know. It's also about the buyer being able to do their own stuff as well. So, I apologize about the dogs. I say that all the time when they bark, but I just need to give it up. So, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Our tuck spots are pretty full here. Got that there. It's still relatively flat for having all that in there. But I'm going to flip through one more time. Make sure the pockets that we put in have something in them. That's there, that's there. And then I will have a flip through video of this journal. And then I'll be able to put it up on my Buy Me a Coffee for sale. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera there. Those are filled. That's there, and that's there. Okay, that's there. Oh, right here. I forgot about this. Not this one. Where'd it go? Right here. a couple little pieces there we'll have to do that on the other side as well that's there got that pocket filled that guy's clipped in Here in this pocket, we'll tuck a couple of these, and we'll do a little banner thing, the little bingo card, the journal card, and then we'll do a little whale tail, just as some extras to play with. Okay, there's nothing tucked under that, but that's not a big deal. All right, I think we're good. So I will do a flip through of this and get this posted in my Buy Me A Coffee. So if you're interested, that's where it's at. If you can't find the Buy Me A Coffee, there is a link on my main YouTube page up at the top in the banner. It's a quick link for you to be able to find my Buy Me A Coffee. I do have a few freebies and stuff up there. So if you're interested in that, please go check that out. If you're new to the channel, welcome here. I hope you subscribe and stay for a while. Even if you don't watch, subscribe. Um, it takes just a second to hit that little button and it helps me out. To my subscribers that are returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate every single one of you. And remember guys, until next time, make today your own and be creative.